Hi, and welcome to MapMagic tutorial. This video starts a series of the tutorials that will be devoted to all of the generator types, scripting or some other useful information which is good to know when working with MapMagic. Right now I'll show some of the basics. Object creation, terrain selection and how to work with an editor window. I'll start with an empty scene. MapMagic would be created through Game Object Menu, 3D Object, MapMagic. You can see that the initial terrain appeared in the scene and the object named MapMagic was created in Hierarchy menu. Clicking this object will show basic settings in the inspector. First of all, I'd like to talk about Pin Terrain button. The thing is that MapMagic not just a one terrain generator. It can create infinite worlds. And so it can work with multiple terrains that are welded together. When I click Pin Terrain button, I can see a terrain selection frame in a scene view. Left-clicking in a desired place will create and generate a new terrain. Clicking on an already pinned terrain will release a pin and remove a terrain. To exit pinning mode, click on a pin terrain button once more. Show editor is actually the main button to start work with map magic, but I'd like to take a look at the general settings before pressing it. Here we can set generator resolution. In default cases, it is equal to the resolution of the terrain maps, like heat map, split map, or detail map. But later, you can set output scale factor that can multiply resolution. I leave this value unchanged. The next is the terrain size. It is measured in world units. Right now, the terrain is one square kilometer, but I can set any value here. And terrain height is the maximum height. All of the terrain information higher than this value will be clumped. Next goes a set of properties used to make an infinite land. I'll start a play mode to show how it works. Here you can see the main camera and pin terrains generated around. But when camera comes close to the terrain border, MapMagic creates new terrains, so that there is always a place to walk forward for the player. Generate range parameter determines the minimum distance to the terrain border that triggers new terrain generating. As you may notice, the far terrains are destroyed to save computing. You can adjust the quantity of the visible terrains by changing the trail count parameter. It determines the quantity of the terrains that are out of generate distance, but still are not destroyed in case player would like to return here. Note that pin terrains are never destroyed, so you can change them or do manual level editing. They will not be regenerated in play mode. By default, MapMagic works in several separate threads, but this could be turned off to make it work in main thread only. Instant generate will force to terrain generating if some parameters were changed, and save results will process only those generators that were changed, saving computing time. Terrain, details, trees and grass settings are similar to the settings that could be found in each terrain, but they are applied once for all the terrains. Ok, now let's proceed to the most interesting part, a MapMagic editor. Clicking Show Editor will open up the editor window. Here you can see three generators, Noise, Curve and Height. I'll dock the editor window below. The editor window could be scrolled using the middle mouse button. To zoom it in or out, use the scroll wheel. There is an alternative keys for laptop users. To scroll, use Alt left mouse and to zoom, Ctrl or Command left mouse. To drag generator, left click anywhere on a generator window and drag generator tab. You can see that on the left side of the generator tab, there are generator inputs, the gates through which data comes to generator, and on the right, generator outputs, the gates for yield data and passing it to the next generator. All the generator chains should end in a final output generator, in this case, a heat output. To create a new connection, Click on an output or input circle icon and drag a line to the desired input or output accordingly. Note that outputs can have multiple connections, while inputs can have only one. So, to remove a connection, click on an input and drag a line to an empty field. 
Generate a parameters could be quickly changed by dragging this slider icon left or right. Generator effect could be disabled by clicking this eye icon. Right-clicking editor window will show up a context menu. With the help of this menu, a new generator could be created. Right-clicking on a generator will make it possible to remove it or reset all the values to the default parameters. Right-clicking on an output can enable a preview feature. Select Preview on terrain to see how our current output will be looking like on the ground. High map values are colored green, while low values are red. To exit Preview mode, right-click anywhere and select Preview Clear. Moreover, clicking on an output and selecting Preview in Window will open up a Preview window. It could be zoomed and scrolled, just like the main graph. You may notice that any time a connection or generator value changes, the result is applied almost immediately on the terrain. This is the effect of the Instant Generate feature. Each time a terrain is generated, an icon in the top left corner blinks. I'll add a resource intensive erosion generator to show it in detail. On every parameter change, all the terrains are regenerated, which is indicated by this progress mark. Once all the terrains are generated, this mark changes to the OK sign. Note that regenerating involves only the change generators and their dependencies. For example, adjusting generator values before the erosion will make the erosion recalculate, while changing values after leave an erosion untouched to reduce computing time. To force all the generators recalculate, press the Generate button. I think it's enough for the first tutorial. In the next one I'll show you how to use noise and curve generators, what does all of these parameters mean, and how to create a heat map that has a bigger resolution than the map magic maps. Thank you for watching. Bye.